focused and uh, you know even today he had that looking like man this is business it's not a, it's not a scrimmage it's not a sprint is this is a game and uh, he ran hard and uh, you know he like he's tough to bring down and so uh, he'll continue to uh, get better he may have to lose some weight you know get in shape where he can carry the ball 10 straight plays and, and stay out there 10 straight plays and, if he can do that, then he's going to be uh, he's going to be a weapon. With no JD, you know Stanley today. I guess how'd you feel your young receivers kind of maybe taking roles that maybe they haven't played in before? How'd I thought feel they, they played well. Team? I thought uh, McQuitty uh, did a good job. You know, first play of the game, they threw a go route to him, made a big play there. Now we had to uh, you know call it back illegal formation. Uh, but I thought when his number was called, he made some plays. And, and Mike Williams, you know, he's playing on the outside now. He started spring. He was on the inside. Now he's playing more outside, and you know he made some plays on the perimeter, created a pass interference call with his speed. And then Tyjon, I think he's going to fit well in the slot in this offense and just get the ball in his hands and space and let him let him go to work. And I think he showed a few times what he can do with the ball in his hands and space. So um, excited about the young guys. And then when we get Stanley and JD back, you know it just adds more depth, and we know what they can do. So very pleased with the receivers. Uh, and now I'll watch the tape and, and see if that uh, that stays the same. What, what went into the decision to move Mike Williams from inside to outside? Is, is it numbers? You needed more guys out there? Yeah, it was, it was depth. Uh, we felt like he knew how to play in the slot. And so ideally, I want to I want to cross train all the receivers. Ideally, I want the receivers to know every position. And so that that, that makes them more valuable. Mike and, Williams. Uh, and he knows, Mike uh, Williams. you know, he knows the slot. And to, for him to go outside with his speed, uh, he's going to create mismatches against uh, DB. So. Coach, uh, eight or nine sacks allowed today uh, throughout the game. Just what growth do you want to see from that offensive line throughout the summer? Yeah, get stronger. Um, get stronger. Uh, get in shape. Better shape. I think they're in good shape. But get in elite shape. Um, continue to study the, the playbook and, and what Coach Austin has, has taught them so far. And, and, uh, and we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll, we'll, we're going to scheme each game. We're going to scheme up. We're where they, uh, we put them in, in position to be successful. So as an entire team, we just got to get stronger, get faster, be, become, uh, get in better shape, and uh, really grind this, this summer. And, uh, so when we start fall camp, we don't, we don't skip a beat. There was that uh, oh, two more guys. in terms of atmosphere, is that what you hope you'd see today? Man, that's, that's special. That's special. That's when you think about Nebraska and hear about it, the consecutive sellouts. I mean, it's special. I don't know if I've been a part. I, I was telling some of my players that played in the Rose Bowl and we didn't have 90,000, 86,000 in the Rose Bowl, and this is a spring game. So it shows you how passionate the fan base is, how, it shows you how much they care and how much we need to care, and how much we need to go out there and, and uh, represent Nebraska, represent the state. And, uh, and I think the guys did a good job, took the first step today in doing so.